Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, back with another video. Just want to knock this one out and not make it a super long video, but I just want to kind of to cover these because I got them. Um, even though I'm not planning on keeping them, I don't think for the collection. I think I'm going to sell them and get something else for the collection. I want more. But I just wanted to go ahead and uh, come on here and do this video. To kind of do like a little uh, history lesson and all that stuff like I usually do with these. But uh, as you can see behind me and from the clip before, um, we got some Zender size skirts. Uh, these are the early model coupe ones, the ones that are pretty popular for the Zender skirts. Um, if you do know the uh, E30 out there, we do have a uh, Zender um, rear spoiler on it right now, which we've had for a while, um, just until I get my BBS kit on next year. But um, I got these in a trade for doing some work, so I just wanted to go ahead and kind of cover them. And uh, we're just going to kind of look at them and uh, go over the condition of them. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, fix them up a little bit and then get them ready for sale. So I'll probably uh, do everything like the primer and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, um, they're not the best condition. I would say they're probably like, uh, uh, compared to other ones I've seen, they're probably like a seven right now, but after I get done with them, they'll probably be about a eight to eight and a half. So, um, also for this episode, we're going to be shooting the entire episode just because uh, I think it's kind of cool. We're just going to be shooting everything on this episode with, um, eighties lenses. So we have a, a vintage, uh, 28 mil on right now. And then we have a, uh, a vintage Canon uh, 50 mil also we're going to be using for this video. I just kind of thought it'd be kind of cool to, uh, you know, use both of those on this video since it's an 80s piece on an 80s car. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about the audio or the video quality. I know the mic's all the way over there. I'm sorry about that. But uh, um, yeah, I'll take you off the tripod. We'll go ahead and look at these and uh, see what they look like. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a test fit on them because my car is a sedan. So um, the only person I know with the coupe um, is all the way um, across town and uh, he's kind of busy right now. So not really going to do that for this episode, but we're just going to go over the condition of them, kind of do like an overview, and then uh, kind of like cover like the other things that Zender has, like side skirts and body kits and like that in the history section. Um, this video won't be super long because like I said, I'm not going to be using these, but I still wanted to go ahead and put the video up and uh, just show them off for people who are possibly getting some uh, for their car or whatever. And uh, obviously if you're like trying to get original parts and not do replica parts because they do have replica versions of these exact side skirts. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over everything in this video. So uh, let's get you off the tripod and take a look at them. All right, so little overview. Uh, this one's more straight, but um, like I said in the previous video I did on these, um, they didn't really matter because um, the way these are manufactured is they're kind of like a rubber foam, but they have like a metal bar that goes in the center for you know rigidity and stuff like that. So um, also, as you can see from this side right here, um, so we're, we're manual focusing because obviously the uh, vintage lens, but uh, like I said, somebody did a bad job on painting these. Like they kind of just like repainted over there's all these runs and everything. Terrible. But uh, yeah, um, like I said, there's one side of the side skirt that is squared and then there's one side that's rounded. So I don't know what size the front or what size the rear. I would assume the rear has the straight part um, and then the front has the uh, curved part, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, this is what they look like really not in bad condition they came off a uh they came off a u.s model car that had uh, a zender kit on it from uh, i don't know the factory or they uh, put it on some point in time but uh yeah this one just needs some work with the paint obviously the paint is just kind of messed up on it but that's just from people you know painting it over the years it probably has about five or six coats of paint on it who knows but i'm gonna try to take care of some of these paint chips and uh just get rid of those for when i go to resell them um, but other than that, they're pretty straight. When it comes to mounting these, um, this one's kind of warped. But when you put them on the car, obviously after it's fastened, it straightens right up. But as far as what these do, like to mount them, they just have a inside flange here. So there's just a little flange on the insides, right there where you put your screw at. So a little flange right there for your screws on the inside of the fenders of course and then you have your center holes which are down here in this bottom part and then that goes obviously into the rocker um, so you'll fasten it with that so pretty simple and straightforward when it comes to how the mount or how to mount them um, but yeah like I said just want to do a little quick overview of them and uh, kind of like do a little history lesson as, as well because I do have my uh, Zender books that I came in here with uh, to kind of you know go over some things but uh yeah like i said i wish i could put them on the car the car's out there and uh i know what's up with this white balance but yeah the car's out here uh it's in the process of getting 
um, a new front and rear on it right now. So, so yeah, it's just kind of sitting out here right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and kind of go over the little history lesson or whatever and kind of go over like the things that Zender offered aside from these side skirts. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And like I said, we're using a uh, vintage lens with all this video. So the whole clips, all of them are gonna be filmed with vintage lenses just cause I thought it was kind of cool to do that or whatever. Um, I do eventually want to shoot like a cinematic with the B or with the E30 itself with the uh, vintage lenses. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, sit down and do a little bit of history, then kind of go over like the, the stuff that's in the brochures and everything like that, just so you guys could see some uh, some history on these. Um, but like I said, like a rubber type of material. And then uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this paint all kind of scuffed up and sanded and uh, probably put a coat of primer on them so uh, they look better when I go to resell them. And then just fix some imperfections here and there. But yeah, overall, they're uh, pretty solid, I guess. But um, just wanted to kind of cover this video so it's on the channel because I do love E30 history and aerodynamic parts. So I want to try to document everything I get, even if I don't plan on keeping the piece or whatever. But yeah, let's get the camera set up and then uh, kind of go over some uh, little history lessons. All right, guys. So I'm just going to do a little sit down section here. Um, I got two Zender books. One has uh, all their accessories that they have and uh, just a bunch of other things like their steering wheels and such. Um, their wheel, steering wheels, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and then the other one has like body kits um, all the way up to like E36. I think this is uh, like a early 90s mag. Not sure if I've shown this one off in another video. Um, but yeah, like I said, these side skirts, there are, I got some notes here also that I wrote down. Um, there are a couple of different side skirts that you can get for this. So like I said, there are a couple of different ones that you can get for this. Uh, there is a um, early model kit, of course, that this came from. Um, I think people tried to use them on the US car, but they're obviously made for the early model cars from the, the UK and everything else where they have the uh, slim um, Euro bumpers. Um, but there are two different types of side skirts. There are these, which are the, uh, the part number is 1235013. Those are the, the normal ones you normally see when you come across like Zender side skirts for an E30. Um, but they do have another set of side skirts that are similar look to these, but the uh, the ears on the end go all the way up to the top of the uh, the fenders, which I'll show you those. Um, those are for the late model kit though. Um, and the part number for those are uh, 1290013. And uh, those are kind of like the similar look, but I think they're a little uglier. I think these Zender skirts are probably the best ones for an E30. Um, there's just a bunch of cars with the E30 um, with these uh, side skirts on them with the uh, the whole Zender kit or just the side skirts alone. I think they really look nice. Um, but there were another set of side skirts that were made for the early models, which were, like I said, just the flat ones that go across the bottom. Um, so I'll show those right here. These are the, uh, the part number for those are 1215013. So I don't really see those too often. Honestly, I've only seen them maybe like on a couple cars on Instagram, but um, as far as like Zender kits, like those side skirts that I have right now are like the most common ones. So um, I do really like them. Like I said, they do fit late model or an early model, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there's really no difference there between like um, the base or the bottom part. There's no longer or anything like that. So now when it comes to like the side skirts for the other ones that I was talking about, the door pods, there are like I said, the sedan and the coupe version. Um, so I'll leave the part numbers for those, so I don't have to keep saying them. Um, but yeah, I really like those as well. I do have a friend that has a new old stock set of the uh, sedan ones, but the shipping to the U.S. is like four or five hundred dollars, so it's kind of uh, way out of my price range because there would be like two thousand dollars for them or some crap um, for something I really wouldn't use. Something I would just rather you know have collection-wise. But um, as far as like the Zender front balances, those were all the same um, except for, and the only thing they really changed were the side skirts. So they still have the same front and rear. And of course, the spoiler that's on my car that you see in the little B-roll clips of, um, part number on that is 1246033. Um, so that's like the most popular Zender spoiler, I think. Probably my favorite Zender spoiler. They have a few that are uh, made for the late model kits, which are these two right here, um, which I'll show you photos of. And then there's two different other ones for the early model. There's a three-piece spoiler, which is this one right here, part number 1238033. And uh, my friend who has the parts just sold one of those, but that was like uh, a little bit north than a thousand dollars for that set. But it was a new old stock one. That's the three-piece 
spoiler. And as far as like companies, there's only three different companies that sell a three-piece spoiler. Uh, the Zender one that I just said, uh, the Kanmei one, which I have two of, and then um, the FOA spoiler, which is like the last spoiler that I want for the collection, which is uh, a main part, and then it has two ears on the side. So that'd be another spoiler I'd want for my own personal collection. But uh, yeah, obviously these came out in the, uh, the mid 80s, probably like 84 to 85. Um, I'm not sure when this one's stamped because obviously it's been painted like a thousand times. So um, Zinder did do obviously late model kits, which I really do like the front end, but some people don't like it because it's kind of like a big grill underneath the normal grill. But uh, I'll show a few pictures of the late model kit. Um, it has that different spoiler. My friend Carson has the same spoiler. I found him a used one on uh, eBay that was pretty decent, so got him to go that one. Uh, I do like the rear spoiler or the rear apron. That was a really nice piece as well. And then, like I said, the specific side skirts for the late model kit, which like go up farther and they're kind of like fatter. I don't really like those, to be honest. I think they're uh, more ugly or more cheap looking than the uh, other Zenders, but I assume those are plastic, whereas these are rubber. So the rubber, you know, deforms over time. But yeah, as far as uh, some more late model stuff, they did have the other set of side skirts. I've, I've never seen these on a car. And it looks like uh, these are the coupe version. It looks like they have a, like a little a door pod that's molded into the side skirt. Um, just from the photo that I'm looking at, um, it looks like that's a whole molded piece that's on the back side and the front side, kind of like the uh, the, the KMA one with the, the ridges on it and the one without the ridges. Uh, so I think that's kind of cool, but I've never really seen those. Looks like the part number for that is 1327013. Um, but like I said, I've never seen those side skirts like on a car or for sale or anything like that. So they might, they might not have made like too many of those or whatever, but uh, yeah, um, they have a touring right here with the same body kit on it. They have like the flat, they have the flat ones as well. I'm not sure if these part numbers are different, but these are one two one five zero one three. Um, and then of course they have like these little, uh, these little like side skirt pieces for like the over fenders. Uh, I kind of like those. Those are pretty dope. Uh, you don't really see those ever for sale. I've never seen it for sale personally. So like I said, it's just gonna be a quick episode, but I just wanted to document them for anybody. I was looking to possibly get them for their car or whatever or come across them like for sale. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So that's the end of the episode. Like I said, no test fit, unfortunately, because I don't have a car to test fit it on. But, uh, yeah, that's what they are. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer anything I can. Um, of course, thanks for watching the video as always. And uh, on my journey of randomly collecting E30 parts and uh, keeping some of them or whatever. But uh, if you guys want to check out the current collection update that I have, I just filmed that before this video. So if you guys want to check that out, just let me know. I'm going to leave the little card at the end of the video. And uh, check out some videos on the E30 where we're doing some more stuff. Which is basically uh, putting the front and rear valance on and uh, kind of changing a few things up for this year. So um, anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Follow me on Instagram and uh, also follow my community page, E30 Mafia. And uh, if you guys do need any rare parts, I do sell rare parts as well. So um, I might be able to find something for you if you need something specific. Like I mostly come across new old stock stuff. But uh, thanks for watching the video as always.